Okay, so now you should understand the basis of code and how one letter takes eight zeros and ones to make. So to emphasize how much code is in a given word and how important it is to be able to type quickly, we are going to create our name in code. So what you need to do is if you go to my class, you go to week two, and you put, uh, click on this one binary code JPEG, you will see it has all the numbers, it has all the capital letters, and then lowercase letters, and then some of the punctuation. So if you go to the bottom and type in the word, word, you will get the word processing app, which is anything that is going to create some kind of document. So we're going to go to the blank document, and I am going to make this smaller. I cannot, because I have more than two windows open, I can't right click on here and say show windows side by side because I have more than two windows open. So I'm just going to manually put them side by side. So there we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your name. Now you're using capital letters and lowercase letters. So mine starts with an S. So we're going to put 0101 space 0011. And then we're going to double space and we're going to do the little U. So it's 0111 space 0101. Then we're going to double space and I'm going to go to the Z 0111 space 1010. So you need to finish your name, your first name. When you are done, you hit enter. And now what I want you to do is put the letter it responds to. It will make it much easier for me to grade. So if I click on this, that's an S. And then if I hit the space bar to the second one, that is a U. If I hit the space bar to the third one, okay. Then I need you to do your last name. So mine starts with a capital J. Oops, sorry. It is 0100 space 1010, double space, little a, 011, whoops, oh, that wasn't right, 0110 space 0001. And then you, once your whole last name is done, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put, hit the space bar, and then just put what letter it represents. Once you are done, you need to save it. Okay, so you can save it many ways. This is another way to save it. I can just click on the actual name up here. We're going to name this DD-1-6 and we're going to put it in OneDrive. Your digital, your digital discoveries folder quarter one and then you're going to click save. Once you are done with that, you close it You close it, you can go back to week two, and you go here to put your name in code. Once you have that, you should have over here, submit assignment, you click on it, you upload a file, 
and then you find your file and turn it in. If you have any questions, please let me know.